I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Welcome to Training Tuesday for May 3rd, 2022. This week you get a special treat. I've had a working intern from Pikes Peak State College working with me for the whole semester. It's a 15 week semester. And unfortunately for her, due to restrictions because of the pandemic, she has been mostly working outside with the horses, dogs, and cats and any other animals that we have that are outdoors. And these last three weeks she of her internship, she's gotten to work inside with the snakes for the first time. Last week, she actually did a target training session with our children's python, Marcel. He's an Anchoresia children eye produced by Riley Jemison at Riley's Reptiles. And you're going to get to see the actual live unedited coaching session that I did with her and with Marcel. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back with you at the end. Do you have a plan for where you want to target him to? He's up there. Okay. So where do you want him to go to? Okay, so show him the target. And wait for him to respond to it because you've got to make sure he perceives it. Can't see him. Looks like he's going the opposite direction. You need to find his head because he can't follow the target if he doesn't see it. So here's his head right here. Okay, now he sees the target, right? Because he's mm -hmm. moving towards it. So this first time, since he's already like spun around that rock three times, I would I would just go ahead and reinforce him looking at it right now. There you go. Go, go ahead and come on this side. And since he's already hanging down and coming down on those vines, make a plan for where you want to target him. So I, since he's going this direction, I would try to target him the opposite direction towards these rocks. So first he needs to see the target. There you go, That see how he oriented to that really quickly? Now I would lay it flat on that rock and see if he comes over there to it. And when he gets there, you need to be ready to give him the reinforcement immediately. Okay. So he kind of lost his orientation towards it. There you go, give him the reinforcement now because he's getting confused. Good. He's already looking at you, so go around the other way. Don't walk this way, go around the other way. Because he's already anticipating what's gonna happen. All right. So now what I would do, since he's already kind of looking at you here, is go on the other side of that pole and have him cross the vines. Okay, back on the yep. other side. Well, he needs to see the target first. There you go. Now have him go just a little ways and then give him the reinforcer. But make sure he doesn't accidentally eat that um, plant. Okay. So raise this there. Now reinforce that. Good. Let him see it, yep. And then see if he'll follow it to his enclosure. So slowly start moving it. And you want to, yep, slowly move it to his enclosure. You're doing fine. Just be patient and let him figure out how to get there. Because remember that they can't recognize the transparent barrier, so he has to feel it first to realize that there's a thing there and he's not gonna fall. So now start moving it towards his enclosure threshold. Okay. 
he's moving. You can watch his whole body and see that it's moving. So just keep moving. Now move it over the threshold. Yep. Good job. Move it a little more. Move it more inside his enclosure. Now I hung that net there, which is new. So that may be part of his hesitation. That's okay. Just let him figure it out. So he's headed towards his enclosure. He just seems unsure about the net. So move towards I would the move way. it over that black thing now. Okay. So make sure he sees it again. Yep. And now move it over the black thing. He lost sight of it. He's getting distracted by something. I hope it's not that green fly swatter that's there. to reinforce as soon as his head crosses the threshold go ahead and give him the reinforcement even though he's not all the way in so we reinforce like yeah I would now. I would reinforce now he had a lot of confusing things going on that net is new and then I think that green fly swatter sitting next to his enclosure confused him a little bit Okay, flatten the target down and set the Reptilink on it because he can't eat it if the metal part of the... <laughs> okay, so you were holding... You needed to have it turned around from the way that you had it. So you had the tongs on the end he was trying to grab instead of... Yes, like that's the way you should have held it, but you were trying to have him eat this end. So he can't eat the metal tongs. So he went inside... Um, his humid hide. We'll see if he sticks his head out and wants this last food. And if not, that's fine because I feel like this last petition, he got severely confused. One, that nut is brand new. So that sort of stalled him for a minute. And then he started to go towards his enclosure and I think he saw that fly swatter, which is a really salient color for them, that bright green. And I think that he just needed a little bit more movement of the target because when I moved it real fast, did you see him orient towards it and then he kind of re-engaged. So let's see what he's doing. He's going all the way in. So what we can do is just leave him be and then if he ends up sticking his head out in a few minutes, we can give him that last food item. So on second thought, why don't you just set the Reptilink right here on the lid of his um, humid hide, and that will be reinforcement for right here on the inside part. And so he can come out then and eat that when he wants, and that'll be reinforcement for him putting himself away. And we'll just check back in a few minutes to see if he eats it. So yeah, just wipe the end of the tongs where it touched the food in his mouth and wipe the target where he might have breathed on it or touched on it with the accelerated hydrogen peroxide wipe. And then you need to get his card off of his cage and write down exactly what he ate. And we need to put the activity stand back. Okay. So he ate the Reptilink? Yeah. Yeah, I figured he would, he's a pig. I think he just got confused. One, you're a new a new trainer that he's never worked with. And then I think the net, he wasn't expecting to see the fly swatter. I need to move that because that's a color of some of their targets and that can be confusing for him. So, and then also that was his fourth rep in this training session. So he was probably getting full, even though we were feeding him tiny things. Well, what did you think of that? I hope you found that interesting. And I actually do animal training and private coaching. I used to teach group training classes, both with horses and dogs, but now I pretty much just do private training. And I not only do that in person, if it's in the local area or people and their animals can come to me, 
but I'm mostly doing it via Zoom or FaceTime or some other video conferencing mechanism now. And I do video coaching and animal training with people all over the world and it's extremely exciting. So if that is something you're interested in, contact me. And it's also something that's available to my patrons on Patreon. You can find my Patreon at patreon.com slash behavior education. And if you have more questions for me or just want more information about snake training or other animal training and behavior, you can visit my website at behavioreducation.org. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and of course, you can always comment right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your interest in animal training and behavior. And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Mm -hmm.